<sighs> no, brothers and sisters of light and dark, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page, my page, and my common sense. I try to keep it down and need to get it under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people, but the God, people, the smoke, people, the drink, people, the ayahuasca, people, the DMT. Listeners, discretion is advised. If you're sensitive, stick in the mud, get out of here right now. I don't want to eat your children and, and animals, okay? All right. If you're sensitive, please do not watch my videos. I really, really appreciate it if you just don't watch my videos. I know there's a lot of individuals who like my content, but most people will not like my content because I am cringy, okay? And too hardcore for them. Too raw, okay? Please read my description box before you think and before you speak. I am a delusional schizo, okay? Okay, foolish people... Beware. Get away. Alright. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this video is going to be a response video to this video. Okay. There's so many things you can trigger women. <laughs> this is just one of the things you can trigger them. Okay. Anything you throw it out there, you know, they're going to get triggered. Okay. Even for pretty boys. Fuck boys. Okay. I trigger fuck boys all the fucking time and pretty boys all the time. Okay. But. They come into my inbox saying, no, you know, so let's get on with the video tape. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. All my information is down below. Okay. Talk to you then. Let's begin. The link is in the description box as well. <clears throat> my friend, uh, we spoke, uh, you know, the other day, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we came to like a discovery. Yeah. We get to hundreds of girls over a period of time. Mm -hmm. And what was that discovery? With clubs. For the uh, most part. Yeah, going. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna reveal it. We're gonna tell the truth. Okay, ninety percent of the time when girls go to the club is to get attention and validation from men. It's not even. Okay, yeah, that's true. But also the men who go there simping is also seeking validation as well. Oh, okay. You didn't think I was gonna say that. So if you're a male going into a bar, I went there one day to see what it was about because I was curious, and I only been. And a nudie bar or titty bar at least once or twice in my life. The first, the second time I was, that's where I met a real alpha in North Carolina. Okay, where this dude was just getting his dick sucked by a bunch of virgins, which he was basically taking care of. Okay, because they was bringing in profit for him. And of course, the first time is when I was like downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, which I walked up in there. And I didn't know what the fuck the place was about, and I, I was sitting in front and shit, and I saw these girls dancing. I saw this fine. Dom, 12 piece chicken nuggets, okay, female, white female. And she was, she was sexy. I think she was young, okay, because her body was just fucking tighter than all of the rest. And I thought, I didn't know that sitting up front, you're supposed to pay any money, okay. Next thing you know, the manager came to me as I was sitting there for after three, four women and said, you know, you're supposed to pay some dollars up there. So I'm like, <laughs> so, I, so I ain't got no money. I said, this don't sit in the front. I said, oh my God, okay, all these sucker sims sitting in the front, mostly white guys, okay. You know, they're sitting up in the front, okay? You know, I'm like, damn, I don't do shit like this. But somebody brought me in there and wanted me to see. So I was like, no, okay, I guess that's not my cup of tea because I don't need to be giving money to just to look at some shit. Okay? I'm not trying to look at shit, okay? But anyway, uh, lots of guys, the, the beta males are, and the beta alphas go up in there throwing cash because they're simps, okay? So suckers investing in mediocre pussy, that's what they do. So he's right, and also he got to say the negative on the men's side who do pay these hoes. And yes, these females are not virgins when they dance up there like that, all right? So let's continue on to what else he got to say. Really for like... Yeah. It's true what he said, but he has to also count add in there that there are men who go in there for validation as well. So if it's 90% of women in there looking for validation, which is true, there are 90% of men who go in there looking for validation themselves. That's true as well. Let's continue on. Yeah, girls go out there to turn up for their homegirl birthday. Yeah. Listen to what we said earlier. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. They go out to turn up with their girls when they could have done that at the house. But why are they doing it at the nightclub? They're doing it because whether they have a boyfriend or not, they enjoy the attention from other men. They yes. enjoy the fact that they can leverage sex against men. They enjoy that men desire them. Absolutely. They enjoy the free drinks. They enjoy the attention. They enjoy the pictures. Yes, all absolutely. that other crap. Because you can do all that stuff yeah. at your house with your girlfriends. Can I say that's a plus, not a must. 
Yeah, we go wild. That's a plus oh, amount of money. We go wild to enjoy the music. We go wild to have a good time without girls. Stay home, man. If a guy comes up, if a guy comes up and says, "Hey, what's up? How you doing?" Every everything like that. That's a plus. That's not a plus. This dude in the corner, lower left hand corner, he look, he just seems angry and shit, man. <laughs> it just seems so fucking angry because he don't like the women's hustle. I was like, what? Why does he sound so angry? You know, men are perpetrators too. Now there's a lot of betas and beta alphas who have simps out there. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> This is what I gotta say. And if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, you ain't gonna get offended. Facts. I mean, nowadays, it ain't even about the dudes nowadays. Some girls are in competition with other women. That part. Not, I mean, if it's for you, it's okay. It ain't even about It's about everything, man. What the hell are you talking about, man? It's about the men and the women, okay? We're talking about both sides here. Because right now, it's, right now, it's attacking women because all of the red pillars and mink towers are getting so hurt, okay? You know, they don't know how to capitalize on the misery and suffering that women need, have a needs, okay? And they don't know how to improve on their personality and personifications okay let's continue on yeah join yourself and a woman can see you looking good or if you got your fat ass nice titties nice hair nice dress and uh, other women to hate on you some women are in competition with other women yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. some niggas are just in competition with yeah. other people he got yeah. a nice chain i gotta give or that's why people get robbed nowadays or some people looking yes. at you while you live in your damn life so yeah. nowadays people are in competition with the same type of person that's just like them when you just mm -hmm. do you can do the same shit that i'm doing and be where i'm at that's all I was. Uh, and I say that it Marco. makes sense Sorry, for the whole, No, no, whole no. I'll, I'll let them finish, and then I'll, make, and then I'll make my last point. Go ahead. Sure. Really quickly, it makes sense for both because I think I don't remember who said it, but someone said that if like girls go out, oh, you did. You said that they go out there and they uh, they appreciate it, and, like they know they look good. They appreciate the comments. They appreciate the the coming up to them and all that. They like the attention. Yeah. We like it. Yeah. Lots Just the same as one of those pretty boys that they yep. have all these followers and everything yeah. on on Instagram, TikTok, whatever social media, or they know for a fact without that they look good. They know. Yeah, they they'll most likely be because of the fuck boys. Okay, you know those are beta bucks too. Okay, <laughs> those are beta bucks. But they look in the mirror and they're like, I know I look good. Uh -huh. So when they go out and you look at them, they give you the same vibe that a female does when she knows she look exactly. good. She's not going to give you that time of day if you're not the one she wants because she's going to be like, yeah, thank you. I know. Okay. Same right. thing for a guy. Okay. Right. Um, that sounds great on paper, but let's be real here. <laughs> Women never it's approach awesome men. Club. Women don't approach I do. men. I do. I do. Well, let me, let me, let me listen to what he gets saying. Oh, 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 so you got to grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Uh, most of the time, women don't really approach men. So when you're talking about highly attractive men and women, they approach each other. But it's, I don't think that women still approach women more, even if you if you have a bar full of people. OK, nine times out of the ten, it's going to be men approaching women. So if you have to say that keyword there, most of the time. Uh, men approach women and women do not approach men as much. Okay, so you got to be real specific about that. That's a fact. That's overall, especially in a high, high class club or some shit like that. If everybody is really fucking beautiful, it's not going to be 50-50. It's definitely going to be more men. So there you go. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Women don't approach average looking um, um, Joe Smoes. They don't have they don't approach him at all, and especially in the streets. When it comes down to the public, women don't approach men at all, really. It goes even further down, depending on where they're at, okay? So most of the time, they just don't. So they'll never be 50% nowhere. Men get more rejections. Women get hit on too much, as a matter of fact. Let's continue. Okay? <laughs> Right here, they're walking to me, grabbing my, grabbing my beard. Well, you're like a lucky dog, my man. I approached you like my neck. Yeah. 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 When's the last time you approached the guy? Before I was in a relationship so for three, three years, years I actually still yeah. approached the guy while I was in a relationship well, just to give, to give, let you, him know that he had there. dropped something. But like, I still approached him. You guys talking to Mike, though. I still approached him, even though like he had dropped something. I still approached him. But like, people, like, in my relationship, we have a communication, like, for example, if I'm like looking at something or uh, someone mm -hmm. and he ends up looking at a woman, yeah. you know, and he's like, obviously she's bad. She uh -huh. got, you know, she going on. And yeah. then like, if I look at a guy and he's, he's looking fresh, like whatever he's wearing, That's jeans and a nice shirt with some nice shoes approach. or like a, a suit and tie, he's looks. looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will make the comment. And if he's passing by. Just like my man does, I'll make a comment. He'll make a comment, but it's a mutual Lots communication that that person. Wait, your boyfriend, your boyfriend lets you compliment men, other men. Stop the cat. 
It's not no, a cap. I'm it's confused. Really good like, this is yeah. my best so, friend right here. So, okay, so, yeah. so your boyfriend is okay with you complimenting other men? If I compliment a man that obviously, like, I speak to him and I'm like, oh, babe, he looks good. And he's like, you know what? Yeah, what? he does. That's, 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 where, that's where trust oh, and loyalty comes okay. in. He does look what? like he's that's dressed That's where trust like, and loyalty comes okay. in. Okay, babe, nah, you're right. So he is going to push Okay, let me just say this. Let me just say this. I just want to finish my point, and then we're just going to go back to the discussion at hand. But the thing is, is that this uh, podcast is for men, you know, so we got to tell guys how reality really works. You're clearly an exception to the rule. Most women don't approach men, number one. Number two, most men don't go to the nightclub to get attention from women. They go to try to sleep with women. The difference is that women go to nightclubs to get attention from men. And a lot of the times, what will happen is some girls go there to meet guys, but most girls don't. And the thing is, is that you could say, oh, well, you know, I can, you know, I, I go to turn up with my girls, whatever. If you really want to turn up with your girls, you would stay at home and play the music there. Who's, no, who's it's that? That's it's the scene that. for you to be finding a girl at a club while she's over here shaking her ass with her friends or she's drunk and she's lit. And so now she's really open. Is that like the place that you want to meet your future with? Like a that's girl a that you want to be dating too. with? That's like, the difference. Men, men go out to the nightclub to get laid. And, and a man's sexual strategy to get laid is completely different than trying to find a wife. No, a club, well, a club is different from a nudie bar. Or a fucking strip club, okay? So if you go in a strip club, there's so many simps in there, so little time. Like going to a club, it's about getting laid. No matter where a man goes, it's about getting laid. Because <laughs> he's he going to get played, okay? Women don't have to worry about getting played. So that's what I'm trying to say. We tell guys all the time, nightclubs, like, you can go there and talk to girls. It's mm -hmm. fine. But understand that a lot of girls are there to take pictures for their Instagram, mm -hmm. to, you know, show out, to sit in the VIP for free, get free mm -hmm. liquor, and leave drinking your shit for free. That's the reality. It's just that mm -hmm. girls yeah. aren't going to admit that. No, we do. That Absolutely. Puts you guys in, that I'll puts, admit it. And hold on. Yeah, saying. you'll admit it here, but you ain't going to admit it at a nightclub when someone listens to their Why VIP. Would it exactly. Why? We're not here to fuck any of you. We're here to just drink we alcohol for free. We definitely done that before. But Yo. it's a security guard. The last thing I'm just going to say is that, like, on a balance of probabilities, when a girl goes out at night and she goes and dresses herself a certain way, all this other stuff, a lot of times to get free attention, free drinks, validation from the opposite gender, and then go home with her girlfriend. Sometimes they'll get late, sometimes they won't. It is what it is. But what you're saying with, like, guys dressing up and looking good from TikTok, whatever, Only pretty boys because. are a small minority That's of most true. men. They're a very small That's minority of most men. Yes. Actually, there's studies that show it. Women. Yeah, when, you know, fuck boys are a small minority of men. And as I said before, 25% of the males out there, 80% of women gravitate to 25% of the beta alpha males out there. All right? They don't gravitate towards the betas, and they don't gravitate towards alphas. They gravitate to those middle, middle ground men, which is only 25%. The beta males are about 80% out there. They're the nice guys for last. They're... Predominantly meek, geeks, nerds, guys who don't have confidence, guys who don't really fit in, guys who have regular jobs, average looking Joe Smoes. Okay? They're not being recognized in society. All right, okay. And then there's those 10% of alpha males like myself, okay, who is, you basically have an application process for women. I don't, you don't deal with women on an emotional basis. You understand the psychology and psychosis, and that's very hard for a lot of guys to do. Other than that, or Kingsman type of personality. You into virginity, polygyny, and fucking respect, okay? So, assets is the key here. But guys don't think like that. They don't know how for playing. They can't, okay? Like, they, what, they, what did they say? Pimping ain't easy. It's not really all about pimping. It's about basically laying your foundation, being upfront, being honest with yourself, and being upfront with her. And that all is what I have to say. Let's continue. Found 88% of men is unattractive on Tinder. Yep. The average guy is not attractive to the average woman, period. That's, That's right. just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? You're I'm using a you, you know, the average woman actually puts on a clown face. You know, the fake hair, the makeup. And when I see females exposed, I'm like, damn, you ugly as fuck, bitch. You uglier than the average man, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay? You know, I'm a comedian. I'm allowed to say this now. And so I keep telling women to keep take them hairs off and them nails off. It only makes your pussy stink. Stop it. Take it off. If you want this, I'd rather you have your hair nappy and all out the place. Hey, we ain't going to no club. We trying to create a family. We ain't worried about nobody. The Joneses across the street. We're not worried about that shit. Okay. But other than that, people don't still understand that average looking women would not date average looking men. I'm telling you, that's a fact. 
they go towards that 25% of beta alpha cuck males out there, buck males, those simp males. Now, I know a lot of guys and women may not agree with me here, but that is a, a bona fide fact. You could do your research on that. There's also a chart out there, too. I hold that chart in my hand sacred. It shows the chart where there's like 10% of the top 20. It's really top 25, it's not 10%. Or you can say it's 10% of one. It's a low number, okay? And women are just, all of the women are gravitate. Now, on the very bottom, it shows an average woman very rarely connecting with an average man. But usually nine times out of ten, it's, it doesn't happen that way. But it's, it's true. All the other men are left out. Well, no woman is left behind, okay? No woman, no matter how ugly she is, she's getting some dick somewhere. Let's continue. He's saying, these pretty boys on TikTok go out to get attention from girls. Even if they do get attention from girls, girls don't approach them anyway. So men they have do. to make the move. And also, let me just add to that as well. <laughs> yeah. I'll be damned yeah. if I want a girl and she can talk to another man in front of me. Yeah, girl. it's kind of weird. And secondly, your boyfriend's yeah, a beta. That's Anyhow, rare. Oh, shit! That's a beta! 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 It sounds like a stern turn up key thing, but there's always hidden fees. Always ask for what the hidden fees are, what things you have to do. And I have caught, caught countless businesses trying to do this shit where you don't get your money back. Your money back is not guaranteed, okay? And they be telling me, oh, what kind of business will guarantee your money back? A business that promises me. It's a turnkey base, right? Did you prove your facts and shit? But I don't like these commercials. Most of these infomercial commercials are false. But other than that, you got to try an experiment. I try them all. I call them up, set up an appointment, and I ask the proper questions. It's the other day I was just finding about this one business which sounds so compelling. And I think it was called the unlimited marketing. Uh, you know, we use a term key, we you stay home and shit like that. But really, you're going to have to do some investments. And you're not guaranteed to get any money. So uh, other than that, that's all I really wanted to say. I hope you learned something from this video. The link is in the description below. And I hope you like my response videos. And I hope they don't pull this shit down. Because they say it's a hate speech. Okay. Because they're being biased for some reason. Okay. Other than that, I'm out of here. Peace.